today we continue exploring Missouri, and the road will take us to Branson, Table Rock Lake, Historic Route 66, Wakanda State Park, and many other places in between. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be, because I'm free. In my RV, yeah. Well, today we have a, about a three hour drive to Branson. It is a momentous occasion. The Colorado has reached 50,000 miles in less than two years. Well, it's always, always good to know, to, to see, like, uh, get off the, the highway for a little bit and see what the towns look like. And this is not just any town. Continue for five miles. Um, yeah, look at that tiny uh, post office. That's like like that one in the, Ever the Everglades, almost. Uh, the reason why we're here, the, this is the Laura Ingalls uh, home, uh, not where she, uh, where she lived as a child, uh, the, and the inspiration for her books, but um, this is where she actually wrote and most of the house, Little House on the Prairie books. This is actually the Laura Ingalls Wilder Memorial Highway, going into the town of Mansfield. Coming up here to the left, Rocky Ridge Farm, where the prodigious author lived from 1896 until her death in 1957. It was here that she wrote the famous Little House on the Prairie series. We're gonna continue and tell you why. I'm not like in a muse museum mo mood today. If I had like plenty of time, I would have done it. But I want to get to Branson. I have a bunch of stuff to do. And today we have the, the live stream, so I want to get prepared for that. All right, I think I'm going to stop here for a few minutes, take a break, and then we continue towards Branson. We're parked in front of a mural depicting Rocky Ridge Farm. And here we've got some of the old downtown buildings. This was just a quick stop here in Mansfield. There, the park across the street has a bust of Laura Ingalls Wilder, the town's most famous former resident for sure. Let me tell you something, busy little town here. Um, well, let's continue. We're a little over an hour away from Branson, Missouri. Check it out! We must be in Amish country. Here we start seeing all these billboards advertising the many Branson attractions and all of a sudden I realize coming here may have been a mistake. These are not the kinds of things I want to be doing during a pandemic. It looks like it would be a lot of fun during normal times, just not in the summer of 2020. It is a beautiful drive on this final stretch between Springfield and Branson, with all these hills, all these part of the Ozark Mountains. Here we are. Branson, and we're gonna stay at the Lakeside RV Park, which I believe it is owned by the city. Sites are a little tight, but it is very centrally located, and they even have a trolley stop. After all this, I realized I'm backwards. It is actually a pull-through site. Yeah, the city is trimming some trees, so not the quietest of afternoons. How about a quick flight? They have this marina here and several floating docks where people can fish, very nice for a city park.
beautiful area. I can't wait to explore more tomorrow. Let's go for a walk around the park. This is actually very nice. And there comes the trolley. It wouldn't be a proper RV park if it didn't have a train track right next to it, right? Before we continue, what do you buy for the guy who seemingly has it all? I got just a thing. Harris! And this is one of the gift sets. This one is called the Winston gift set. It comes with the limited edition Winston handle with the option to engrave. Three German engineered blade cartridges, each with a flex hinge and a lubricating strip to give you the most comfortable and close shave possible. The foaming shave gel, a blade cover, very convenient for traveling. And it comes in this handsome recyclable gift box. Now I've got a special offer for you, $5 off any holiday shave set and free shipping. The sets start as low as $15 with this discount and by the way, not only for men, these are great for women too, and the refills start at only $2 and they deliver straight to your door on your schedule. Also, Harris gives 1% of every sell to organizations that promote better mental health care for men and veterans. Just go to harris.com slash travelingrobert, I'll put a link of course, and you get $5 off any gifting set while supplies last. Oh no, we've got rain coming. Breakfast of Champions. Well, good morning. Just making sure the door is locked. All right, yesterday when I arrived, this park actually didn't give me like the best impression, but because, you know, it's very tightly, we are very tightly packed together here, which is expected for a, for a city RV park in a sense, but apparently we are like right there, you know, right uh, in the middle of things, downtown. So that might make up for it. And, uh, also, it may have been like uh, if I wanted to, if I wanted this trip to be like the social distance trip, <laughs> uh, you know, it may have might have been a bad idea to come to Branson because this is a very touristy to town. Willy Drive, Branson Landing Boulevard. We're gonna try to stick to nature as much as possible, but first, there's the Branson mural. At some point before we leave, I would love to take a selfie with it, but we'll see. You know, expectations are a funny thing. I didn't know what to expect when we came here, but somehow it wasn't this. Yeah, I th I'm thinking Branson was perhaps an, an unnecessary detour here. Yeah, let's try and do something that involves nature. And I was reading online about things to do in Branson and there is this waterfall trail. It is supposed to be right here, next to the Westgate Resort. Yeah, the parking lot is in that industrial area over there and um, apparently it's right there yeah and there's the west gate but yeah this is it this is the, the waterfall trail so let's do it our luck with waterfalls this trip has been hit or miss especially at the beginning but i have high hopes Perhaps wishful thinking. Pretty cool. For this. I mean, it's an urban trail. This is like in the middle of the city. A little slippery. I definitely should have brought my hiking shoes. 
wonder how this got here. I mean, <laughs> you would really have to go out of your way to, to have this old washing machine here. I don't see a whole lot of water rushing through, so I'm thinking this waterfall trail might be a bust. But hey, it is the journey that matters, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the waterfall. They've gotta be kidding me. I mean, it is beautiful, but there must be a drought or something. It is technically a waterfall, right? It's, if that is the only waterfall, I'm gonna be disappointed. But maybe there's more coming this way. It's, it's very wet and slippery, that's the only thing. But. I wonder if they are as flabbergasted as I am. Don't be fooled by the apparent wilderness. We're right next to the resort. Doesn't seem very remote now, does it? <laughs> That looks promising. Okay, this wasn't so bad after all. It almost looks more like a fountain than a waterfall. Actually, yeah, it is. This pond here is like a, it's like a dam. It's somewhat artificial, as you all can see. But still, you know, not the most uh, roaring of cascades, but. Oh, check it out. These people at the resort, they have a view. All right, let's continue. Let's continue going upstream. Maybe there's uh, another, even more impressive waterfall coming up. Let's walk a little more just for the exercise, but I think this is as good as it gets. Oh, wow, check it out. This is not bad. Yeah, remember the washing machine? It's pretty cool. All right, let's go for a little ride. I was uh, speaking to my neighbors and they recommend that I do US, Hi uh, US Highway 165, we'll see. It was a pretty drive around uh, the lake. Let's check out Hollister here real quick and historic Downing Street, also known as the English Village. It is lovely, actually. Let's park, if only for a few minutes. Very nice. Much quieter than Branson on the other side of the river. Scenic view, yeah, let's check it out. Definitely, they were not kidding. We can see the White River. Table Rock Dam in the distance, and the notably higher water level of Table Rock Lake. It is, shall I say, a most commanding view, and the highlight of Branson so far. The castle-like building, perched atop the hill, is none other than Chateau on the Lake Resort.
Let's continue towards Table Rock Lake State Park. This was actually on the short list of places to camp, but it is the weekend. How nice, even on this somewhat cloudy day, everybody enjoying the lake. Let's go for a walk on the Lakeshore Trail. Hmm, here's the boat ramp. This is almost as entertaining to watch as someone backing in the trailer at the campground for the first time. Okay, I won't be rude. Let's continue. Ah, never mind. I just can't help myself. There's a trail here that goes down to the water. This is so nice. It is choppy, probably in part due to the wake from all the boats. I betcha it makes for a bumpy canoe ride. Actually, a pontoon boat is probably the way to go here, to spend the day on the water. Oh, that's gotta be that showboat Branson Bell. They do dinner cruises with entertainment. Supposed to be really good. Yeah, when I grow up, I want a pontoon boat. Or even better, a friend with one. This, apparently this is the, the like the, the local escape from the sweltering heat here and uh, look at that yes I bet you that's the the table rock and this here to the right must be the campground. It doesn't even seem to be full. Yeah, next time I have to make sure I make reservations here way ahead of time. This here to the left is called Peninsula Lookout on Moonshine Beach. Let's stop for a few minutes to enjoy the views. Table Rock Lake here was created in the mid to late 1950s after the construction of Table Rock Dam. So yes, it is artificial. And its original purpose was flood control on the White River and hydroelectric power. But it is definitely also a super popular lake for recreational activities. Let's go up to one of these hills to get a view from the higher ground. Let's stop here. This seems to be like a real estate office for some new development down there called Nantucket. But actually, the views from the parking lot are pretty spectacular. There's the dam. There's Moonshine Beach right there. There's the, the showboat. That little island in the lake. And there's the chateau on the lake. Hello there, excuse me. Oh, look at that. That colorful development down there must be that Nantucket they are trying to sell here. Let's go check it out. It is cute. Apparently it's like a resort, a timeshare kind of deal. Something I've learned to stay away from, but people buy into them all the time, so I assume it might work for some people. Just 
Gonna drive around the lake a little longer, but I don't think we're gonna stop anywhere. Well, I think we've had enough fun for one day, even though we haven't really done much. But tomorrow, tomorrow is another day and we have a long drive ahead of us. And we're back in Branson. I'm just starting to realize what a great campground this really is, right here right next to the White River. And we've got all these folks here hanging out all the time. Lots of them. This would be a perfect way to end our day, except that I still have to cook that second batch of red kidney beans. Don't tell me you forgot about those. I'll chop an onion. Salt. Pepper. Our two leftover pork shanks. This time we're gonna do some celery and some carrots. Before I slice the carrots, let's add some of that vino seco cooking wine and the rest of the beans. Water. I'm out of real garlic, so this will have to do. Cumin, just a tad. Oregano, you know, the usual stuff. And lots of paprika, since I'm out of that Spanish chorizo sausage. A little bit of tomato sauce. And now we chop the carrots. High pressure for an hour and we should be good. Probably not as great as the one we did a couple of days ago, but I'm sure it's still pretty good. again a big fifth wheel coming this way um let me make sure that everything's buttoned up i think we're good well today uh, by the way it's really hot here in Ten west on boxcar willie drive Hot and humid in this part of uh, Missouri, here in Branson. I mean, totally different compared uh, to, to the other part of Missouri we were. I don't know if it is the area or just that the climate changed. But man, it's hot and humid. Even at 9 a.m., 9.21, I'm 21 minutes behind schedule, which is not bad In for 300 me, actually. feet, turn left onto Boxcar Willie Drive, Branson Landing Boulevard. Are we gonna turn do left onto Boxcar Willie Drive, Branson Landing Boulevard. We're going to do a little bit of Route 66, because that's what you do. I've never done the, the Missouri portion of Route 66. I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to Cuba. Goodbye, Branson. Barely knew ya. We will return one of these days when the circumstances change and we're able to enjoy you properly and find out everything you have to offer. But now, the journey must continue. We are going to do a section of Route 66, which around here goes almost parallel to I-44, and then onto Iowa. I just love this drive here on US 65 North, coming out of Branson, 
with all these rolling hills. Very cool road, fun to drive, perhaps even better if you're not towing. It is kind of hard to keep up with all these ups and downs. We are now on the Mother Road, historic Route 66. Part of Route 66 not all that interesting, and it's, it runs parallel to uh, to I-44. So I don't know. Probably after our next point of interest, I'm just gonna take I-44. To be honest. Not a whole lot going on in this area, but here in Marshfield, there's something we want to see. This is the birthplace of astronomer Edwin Hubble, responsible, a long, long time ago, for the discovery of other galaxies far, far away from our own Milky Way. They were originally believed to be nebula, and if the name rings a bell, well, yeah, the Hubble Space Telescope was named after him. And here in Marshfield, they have a replica. Here we are, Route 66. And the reason we've stopped here is that. Here we have it, a one-quarter scale model of the Hubble telescope that has been orbiting the Earth since 1990. It is very cool to see, actually, even if it's not life-size. Here, in front of the Webster County Courthouse, in sleepy downtown Marshfield. Although, to be fair, it is Sunday morning. I am sure it would be a lot livelier at a different time, on a different day. Here's a memorial dedicated to Webster County veterans. It's a cool looking gun, if you ask me. We continue, although we are going to use I-40 this time <laughs> because um, otherwise we'll never make it. And apparently Route 66, except for this uh, few um, points of interest like the Hubble telescope, which was super cool. Uh, it isn't really all that... Um, In 400 feet, turn right onto West Jackson Street. And I totally lost my train of thought. Check it out! It is the world's largest gift store. Isn't that awesome? Sixty-six for gas. That's some kind of bargain. It's super crowded, though. I'm gonna go back into uh, Route 66. Turn right onto State Highway F, then turn left onto Historic US 66 East. There you go. You're not gonna believe where we're going. Cuba. Who would have thought? Go back to Cuba. As you probably know by now, I was born in the island of Cuba, and I thought it would be appropriate to visit its Missourian namesake. Now look to the left. If you blink, you're gonna miss it. It is the world's second largest rocking chair. And we missed it. I could have parked too. Well, we missed it. It was supposed to be back there, and I didn't stop. I don't see anywhere to... It was supposed to be the world's largest rocking chair. Cuba here is actually famous for its murals and a particular barbecue place. I don't know, but I get a feeling we may have missed a couple of the murals along the way because I didn't see that many. Well, at the very least, I'm gonna take a selfie with the sign, but first, there's that famous Missouri Hicks barbecue, 
and it looks like there may be oversized parking here to the right. You know what? I don't think this is gonna work. This place is packed and it's gonna be like a, an incredibly long wait. No, this is not gonna work. Let's continue. back someday you see I'm gonna leave St. Louis I'm gonna leave in Missouri without eating barbecue but it is what it is as I said at least let me take a selfie with the sign well from here on it is going to be nearly non-stop we're basically out of time Four long hours later, we are arriving at Wakanda State Park, near LaGrange, Missouri. All right, Wakanda State Park. Yeah, excuse the, the Berkey filter is making noise and falling apart. Basic site, reservable site, oops. Let's see what this is. Hookup reservable or register and pay fee at the area. It's a register campus only, no, they use quiet hours 10 pm to 6 am. Sounds the plan. Let's see, site 103, I'm supposed to be 100, 114. Awesome. Definitely one of the better campgrounds we've ever stayed at. Definitely have to write this one down. Look what I just discovered. We have our own little private beach here. Just for us. Actually, it's not cold at all. I was really tempted to, to jump in the water, but it's Kind of murky, and there's the the warning sign that they may be, you know, debris, you know, unacceptable bacteria levels. Who knows? So I'm not gonna jump in, but let me tell you, yeah, I like to launch a kayak, or maybe if I was into fishing, maybe fishing. I don't know, but definitely this this uh, campground is top ten of all places I've been, I've been to. I'd say almost in, pretty much in the whole country. So um, I would definitely be returning here and I could spend the whole week here. I mean, we have full hookups, so I could spend the whole week here. And the, the, there's Hannibal is very close. So we could visit like all the historic Mark Twain stuff. And um, yeah, what a, what a great way to say goodbye to Missouri. Because tomorrow we're saying goodbye, but I'm definitely coming coming back to this place. Maybe even on, on the way back from this trip. Yeah. 
What a great discovery. Uh, by the way, thank you, Benjamin, of uh, Gizzer at the Wheel for, for discovering this. Yes, it was from John Benjamin, Gizzer at the Wheel, that I learned about this place. He posted something on Facebook and I said, let me add this to my map. And uh, I'm glad I did. I am pleasantly surprised. Remember, Site 103 for next time. Although, all these sites here next to the lake are probably good. hungry, so I'm just gonna grill some pork chops. that another day comes to an end let's add some stickers to our map to go. Well, I've been uh, almost a whole week here in the Show Me State and uh, all I gotta say is uh, show me more. I really liked uh, what I've seen and uh, can't wait to come back. Today we're going into Iowa. It is the Mark Twain Casino. <laughs> well, yeah, they are definitely taking advantage of Mark Twain's legacy around here, with good reason. And I know, I know, we're so close to Hannibal. Mark Twain's boyhood home, the inspiration for Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn, and so many others. We were there briefly last year as part of an unplanned detour, and we'll be back again, I promise. But now, Iowa awaits. And Minnesota, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho. Let me tell you, the summer of 2020 road trip is not even halfway there yet. Someone recommended this RV park here in Canton, and I'm just gonna stop by real quick. Maybe we can stay here on the way back. 
It is called Mississippi Park, $20 a night with water and electric. They have a garbage dumpster and a sewer dump station. Kind of honor system, you write them a check and drop it in the box. And I believe you can also call the police department to make a reservation. They have this picnic area here and the playground. Yeah, we're definitely staying here on the way back, if the route brings us this way. Here's the sign with all the info. Let me take a picture. As we cross the Des Moines River, we are now in Iowa, but more about that on the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.